Hello, it's Richard, uh, Richard's Guitars. Um, yeah, today I thought I'd just show you something. Um, it's all well and good me showing um, more expensive guitars, and and obviously I specialise in the Gordon Smiths and the first guitars and the Lakewoods and the Ordens and uh, you know just just lovely uh, lovely guitars. Um, but it's also nice just knowing I've introduced somebody to something special at a very early point in their playing. Um, now, I've talked about it before and I don't want to go into too much, you know, there's no point in me going over it and over it and over it. But just as a quick recap, we do put an awful lot of work into the guitars that we sell. Um, it's, you know, you, you, it's got to be at least an hour. I have a, my, a tech, if my tech's working here uh, for seven hours and he averages six guitars a day, it gives you a kind of a sense that, that um, we uh, are spending, unless he's wasting his time doing nothing, but um, he's spending at least an hour on every guitar that we sell. So, um, so what goes into that hour, you can read all about, uh, and some take it longer and some, take, some go through quicker. Um, one guitar might take two hours, um, but there's no real time frame set. We, we just, it's whatever it takes to either get it done or get it rejected. So when I'm helping kind of beginners, um, now what I'm about to show you isn't a beginner's range of guitars at all. Um, so it's wrong to suggest that, but it's a price point that gives you outstanding amounts of guitar for under 500 pounds. So it, it's, it's not beginner market, is it? It's it, basically, we're looking at guitars that can be used professionally, um, can be used on a stage, um, and are used on stage and are, and are used professionally. Um, but sitting below that kind of tier where you go into the all solid woods is what I'm, I suppose I'm getting at. Um, and it's a brand of guitars. Now I'll quickly tell you, the brand I'm gonna talk about is Lag, okay? And the reason why this is such a nice thing for me to be chatting about is it's a brand that I used to do prior to my YouTube channel being available. And a guitar brand that I really, really loved. And the reason I love them and continue to love them now is they offer quite some unique, um, uh, well, they, they, they offer some nice niches for a start. Um, uh, products that help people in certain areas, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. I want to kind of give you a quick, uh, an overview. Rather than going into detail into any one particular guitar right now, I'm going to whiz through them and give you an overview. So you go, oh yeah, yeah, that, that's, that, that's, that's the kind of thing I'm after. Um, and because um, I was sitting here thinking, should I just do one at a time, which I will do in the future. But I thought, I feel bad that I've just not got the information out there at all about lag guitars. And they seem to be kind of just um, uh, overshadowed by other things. Um, so it's important that um, I, I get a bit of balance and you get to hear about these as well. Um, so I was going to say, uh, okay, let's just, let's, just whiz, let's just whiz through some then. Okay, so 199. Now, the cheapest guitar I know I've talked about on my videos, which are outstanding, are the um, Eastman uh, PCH um, models. Um, <laughs> something just caught, I mustn't show you that. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that. Something just caught my eye. I'm doing, I'm doing this. Um, so the PCH1 guitars, which are 265 pounds. Well, that's great. If you've got 265 pounds, great, lovely guitars, go and check out those. Um, but let me show you this. I'm going to show you two. So these two to start with then. Okay, so for my little display over here. First of all, I'll show you this one. So this is £199. So um, as with any guitar that I recommend, it's going to have a, a solid spruce top. Um, so this is a solid spruce top. All of the lag guitars have this beautiful detailing, which I uh, I can't really say enough about because I think it's really stylish and really lovely. So if we have a look at this, all of them feature this kind of uh, I mean they're French design. So um, I, I, where, where that you guys will know where that kind of uh, styling comes from, maybe. Uh, but um, all of the kind of aesthetics on them, I think, are really lovely. Uh, so aesthetically, really lovely guitars. Machine heads the same. The headstock is really quite a little bit different as well. Uh, machine heads are kind of cool and funky. Um, so for £199, you're getting uh, a solid spruce top, um, nice feel, and obviously we set them up beautifully. Mm -hmm. 
So that's £199. And they are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I would recommend this to my best friend. If he had um, a, a, a slightly more limited budget, uh, but just wanted a professional bit of kit that would he could play forever. Because this is the beauty, anything that I supply, you'll never need to swap it because it doesn't play well or doesn't feel any good because we do set them all up perfectly. So that is a really cool guitar for £199. However, if that's a little bit too simple for you, then just for a few quid extra, 229 you get this little baby here. So now we go into gloss finishes and a bit of extra binding. Now look at this. Look at that, it's beautiful. Let's hop the back on that. So uh, yeah, it's, it's laminated, but it's beautifully finished. Um, and again, I, I, um, I feel really bad. That, I mean, it's only been a matter of months since these have been back in the UK uh, under the new supplier. And this is the reason why I can talk about them. Because the, uh, in their wisdom, I mean, these things happen, but um, manufacturers will change their suppliers. And these used to be supplied by the guys that do Faith guitars. But I think it was some kind, you know, there, there may have been a little sort of uh, conflict of interest uh, with a, a brand selling another brand which are sort of similar kind of guitars um, so uh, they changed they went to Marshall but uh, I think uh, for whatever reason Marshall no longer distribute them and now there's a, a really cool proactive distributor who was quite keen to sort of get me back on board so um, I, I, I feel blessed that they've uh, come back to see me so yeah so this is 229 so essentially the same guitar <laughs> I won't mess around too much. I don't want to ruin the video, me tuning guitars. So, 229. So, that's the same guitar, but now with a slightly. Uh, you could argue that gloss finish is a little bit harder wearing, um, but obviously, you can polish it and make it look pretty and shiny. So, that's that. Let me put that one over there. So then they do electro versions of those guitars. And that's when you get to this one. Now this is a really beautiful little guitar. So this is 299. So same concept. Don't worry about the model codes because I'll give you links to all of that. But if you're looking for a really cool pickup system on your guitar, it's got bass, middle, treble, uh, phase uh, switch on there for uh, feedback control. Got a really excellent tuner, which uh, unfortunately the battery is not, I uh, haven't got the battery in, but a really good display. Uh, so if you want to kind of um, keep an eye on your tuning, again, if you're a beginner, then the tuner is really cool having it built into your guitar. Um, it's not essential to have in your guitar, but it's, it's, it's a really good feature if you are starting out. The neck is nice and slim, as they all are. So very, very comfortable guitars to play. <laughs> And that is a top-notch, comfortable, affordable electroacoustic for 299, which again I just think is stylish, looks a bit different from the crowd. You know, there's a lot of guitars that all look very, very samey, but these have got a real classy finish about them. So that's that one. Okay, then to give you a couple of ideas of where little, these little niches fit in, this is a beautiful little guitar, and I think they call this Snakewood. Uh, look at that, that's awesome, isn't it? That's rather pretty. And now we've got a Fishman again on here. And uh, what have we got on here? Bass, middle, treble, and uh, tuner built in, we know. Um, so nylon string. So now, if you're looking for a comfortable, a, a, a guitar that feels like uh, an, an electric, well, more of an acoustic guitar, it, okay. You, if you play nylon string guitar, or want to get some nylon string guitar sounds, but you want to feel like you're not going too far away from your normal uh, acoustic feel. Classical guitars normally have quite clubby necks, they're quite wide, two inches thick. Um, they really are quite um, alien to someone who's playing acoustic or electric guitar. Good, we're somewhere, we're somewhere in tune So if you want that soft, sweet tone of a nylon string guitar, Yeah, 
You can get lovely sounds out of Nano String Guitars. Yeah, lovely soft, sweet tones. And so even if you're used to playing blues or acoustic guitar or electric guitar, playing a nylon string guitar will give you a really different sound. And when you plug in your nylon guitar into an amplifier, then you combine your sweet, warmer tones with some nice reverb or even delay. Uh, maybe that's a video in its own right, I'll do some stuff and you can, it just sounds so inspiring. You can play real proper lead guitar lines on a nylon string guitar if it's a nice, comfortable electro feel, which is what this is. Um, and this is about 400 pounds. So this is around about the 400 pound mark. Um, so that's a, what we'd call a hybrid nylon guitar. So that's that. One more. This is a real beauty and um, I, um, I really love these. Now, if you heard of the Yamaha APX, um, Yamaha pretty much made their name around the slimline, shallow body uh, guitar design. So this particular one is about half an inch. If we went to this one here, you can see quite, quite considerable. Uh, deep, uh, when I say half an inch, this is it's, it's way more than half an inch. It's probably about an inch and a half shallower. Uh, sorry, I probably should have some measurements. Maybe I can put some measurements on the uh, link below or something. But as you can see, if you look at the thickness of the EQ, there's not a lot of distance. Uh, and on this particular EQ, we've got a bass, middle, treble, notch filter. Um, we've got a phase, um, a phase button, and we've got a mid frequency switch, which I'm not quite sure what that does. Um, but clearly, a lot more. Um, Feedback control. This is this is a this is a basically a performance guitar for stage use. You want to minimize. Still a solid top. You want to minimize the feedback from the guitar. So you don't want it to be all solid woods because that's just going to feedback anyway. But what you do get is an incredible. It's a really impressive sound considering how slimline it is. There's something really sweet about that. A very very sweet sound considering it's a very shallow body guitar. I love it. So a very honest, uh, sweet tone. Never going to win any awards for purest acoustic guitar of the world, but it's going to give you a really satisfying acoustic sound, considering its main job is for being plugged in, getting an electro acoustic sound. But also bear in mind that a guitar like this is absolutely perfect for all those people with frozen shoulder, because your arm a lot of the a lot of the issues you get with um, you know uh, shoulder problems when you've got like a, as I say a frozen shoulder uh, arthritic shoulder I get a lot of people um, with these kind of problems who have trouble getting around their guitar once you get a slimline body guitar it's really easy just you just your hand just drops over the top and you're, you're straight in there so this is a guitar that I'd recommend to um, anyone looking for something that feels smaller, feels a little bit sort of easier to get around, uh, whether it be younger players and women would like, like this kind of design, people with bad shoulders, or if you're plugging in for performance and stage use as well. So uh, it really does suit a lot of people. We don't all want big full body guitars and full depth guitars because you don't need it. You know, if you, it all depends on what you're looking for from, from your playing. And this is the key is finding the guitar that that suits you, you know. But this is a, a really lovely guitar. This guitar comes in a couple of different finishes and I haven't got um, the other one to hand. But again, it comes in that snake wood, um, a natural with a snake wood finish um, at the same price. And it also comes in this finish here. This kind of lovely uh, burst finish. Um, so it's like a kind of autumn burst, I'd call that. And um, this is, this is the full thickness version. So there's the full thickness version of this one. But, um, yeah, so. There you go. 
that's the um, that's kind of an overview of the lag uh, the lag guitar series. So we're going from 199 for an acoustic, 229 for a bit more finish, 299 for an electro. Then you can go to 329 for a little bit more finish on the electro version. Then you're going up to the 400 pound mark for the kind of um, uh, a, a sort of fuller body electros with more uh, EQing um, and, and, and then you've, you've got the performance model here which is the slimline one which is uh, a, a real killer. Um, look at that, it's lovely, look at that on there, really nice. There you go, that's Lag Guitars in a nutshell and um, I'll put links in where I need to and I uh, hope that's useful for you. Okay, bye!